Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth one of the weekly lead code contest 274 and I also feel completely devastated looking at this question. I myself couldn't come up with the approach but I can give you the pointers that will help you understand the question better and arrive at the solution. So let's quickly walk through the question and we'll try to get the maximum out of the question so that we can get some idea on how to go about the solution. The question is maximum employees to be invited to a meeting. In this question, uh, a company is organizing a meeting event and has a list of N employees. Those are waiting to be invited. Each employee has its favorite employee and they can only attend the meeting if they can sit next to their favorite employee at the table. Also it is specified that the favorite employee of the employees can't be himself. So uh, an employee cannot mark himself as a favorite employee. Given an zero indexed array of favorites where favorite of i donates the favorite person of the ith employee, we need to identify the maximum number of employees that can be invited to the meeting. So here in this question they have provided an example where the favorites has been specified as 2212 and this is one possible arrangement uh, in which the employees can be invited. The total number of employees that can be invited is 3 and it states that second is the favorite employee of the 0th index, second is the favorite employee of the first index, first is the favorite employee of the second index and second is the favorite employee of the third index. So let's walk through the presentation that I have created for this and I'll try to give you the test cases that will help you understand the question and the approach. Maximum employees to be invited to a meeting, lead code 2122. It's a hard question on lead code. However, I would like to rate this question in an extremely hard category of lead code. So let's try and understand the attributes of a circle so that our basics are pretty clear. Each node can have at max two neighbors. Consider any node of people sitting in a form of a circle maybe this or this each one can have at max two neighbors in it the neighbors can't go beyond two when they are forming a circular shape let's try and extract the a key point from the question each employee has only one favorite person they can attend the meeting only and only if they are allowed to sit next to their favorite persons at the table let's take one case uh, let's assume we have a person named a and he is his favorite person is b so he's sitting next to it. However, there is another place that is held vacant in the circle. This can be filled by anyone across all the possibilities or the all the employees that are invited to the meeting. Let's discuss a very happy case. Uh, the first and the foremost thing that is specified in the question that we have a structure like we know A is a favorite of B. So this itself gives a hint that this is a graph kind of a problem and that too a directed graph kind of a problem because A is a favorite of or B is a favorite of A. It doesn't mean that A is a favorite of B as well. Let, let's go back to this test case. Here all the employees are forming a happy case where each neighbor is placed to its next in a circular fashion. For example, we have the data as 1's one, one favorite is 2, 2's favorite is 3, 3's favorite is 4, 4's favorite is 5 and 5's favorite is again 1. So what do we do in such a case? We identify the length of the cycle that is getting formed and whatever the length of the cycle it is, we return as a, it as a final answer. Here in this case, the answer will be 5. So we build the graph and we identify the length of the cycle that is getting formed and that simply returns the answer. Now let's try to make this test case a little more complex. There are more nodes that are getting connected at 1. There is a chain that is starting from 10. 10 favorite is 9, 9 favorite is 8, 8 favorite is 7, 7 favorite is 6, 6 favorite is 1. So what do we see at 1? At 1 we see that there are 3 nodes that are getting connected to it. 1, 2 and 3. Now these 3 nodes definitely can't be part of a cycle because in a circle at max each node can have two nodes. We did it in the starting of the presentation. So one has to make a strict choice. He has to give up on one of the edge that is getting formed either with six, five or two. So let's go one by one and let's try to identify whether he, uh, one can give up on what kind of edge. So let's take the case where the one is giving up on this particular edge named five. So this edge is gone. 
now by virtue of this edge going away uh five will not be part of the cycle because five can't be attended to the meeting similarly since five is not part of the meeting four can't be part of the meeting as well because four's favorite is five so four will not be able to sit similarly uh, by virtue of the same thing three won't be able to attend the meeting because four is not present and since three is not present again two won't be able to be part of the meeting two can't be invited since two is not invited again one can't be invited so we saw one possibility that if we give up on five then one himself has to go away from the meeting let's walk through the other case let's walk through the case where we are giving up on two let's forget that two is not getting invited since two is not getting invited then one can't be invited because two, uh, one's favorite is two one has to sit next to two again one is gone so in both these cases where we are giving up on five or two one one's attendance to the meeting is going away he has to go away if we if we delete either this edge or this edge let's now talk about the third edge this one can we give up on this edge let's try this out let me just clear this up and let's for a second let's assume that this edge is gone that simply means that six won't be invited to the meeting because uh this we we are saying that uh six dependency depends on one all the one is invited but six won't be invited and six since six is not invited seven won't be invited since seven is invited eight won't be invited since eight is not invited nine won't be invited since nine is not invited 10 won't be invited however we can still invite the rest of the five employees to the meeting 1 2 3 and 4 and 5 and the result for this particular case turns out to be equal to 5 i hope i am able to make sense for this particular case and similarly there could be edges originating at 5 there could be edges originating at 4 there could be edges originating at 3 and 2 as well and the graph could be highly complex however the problem reduces to identifying the cycle uh, and if we are able to identify the cycle appropriately this will give us the result this is not enough there are other cases that we also need to think of this was just one possibility let's walk through the next case where we have an interdependency between two nodes there is a node a whose favorite is b b's favorite is again a there is a dual cycle that is getting formed so instead of being directed it is becoming undirected in nature or dual directed in nature so uh, let's try and think of when these elements will be plotted over a circle and let's assume there are more nodes as well but for the sake of simplicity i'm not adding them right now so we have a and when we align a on the circle we'll have b so there could be case there can be more elements present in the circle as well however is this condition full successfully fulfilled yes the condition is successfully fulfilled uh, a's favorite is b and b's favorite is a so we are not concerned about what all elements exist to the the other neighbors of a and b so these are like vacancies that have been created in the system and any other node can fill in that vacancy however a and b will always be invited to the meeting in such cases why i am saying this because a's favorite is b b's favorite is a and both of them are present in the meeting and they can be mutually exclusively handled all together the other two neighbors of a and b are not of our much concern it can be anyone out there so let's try and think of more on similar lines let's try to think of there are two such cycles that are present in the system we have a b b a c d d c and how can we arrange these in a form of a circle we have a a is next is b b is next is c c is next is d and d is next is a so this could be one possibility and cons- once when you see a cycle a dual cycle kind of a thing consider this as one single unit one strong independent unit that exist in the cycle independently so all four of them can be separately invited as in this particular case a b c d and there could be more permutations of it however if you see that these are getting independently treated a b and c d as independent entities and atomic independent entities not as separate individuals let's walk through for the next possible case we have a b b a as one cycle 
द अदर साइकिल इज सी डी डी सी अदर वन इज ई एफ एफ ई सो अगेन दिस कुड बी प्लेस इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ अ साइकिल और सर्कल ए बी सी डी एंड ई एफ सो अगेन इट फुलफिल्स अ कंडीशन दैट ऑल ऑफ देम हैव देयर फेवरेट्स अलाइंड ऑन इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ अ सर्कल सो वी हैव ए बी टुगेदर वी हैव सी डी टुगेदर एंड वी हैव ई एफ टुगेदर इन सच अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑल सिक्स कैंडिडेट्स और एम्प्लॉयज कैन बी इन्वाइटेड टू द मीटिंग सो दिस इज केस टू दैट वी शुड थिंक ऑफ वाइल बिल्डिंग द एलगोरिथम लेट्स एक्सटेंड दिस केस एंड लेट्स ट्राई टू मर्ज दिस विद द केस वन एंड दिस इज वॉट इट मे लुक एट सो वी हैव नोट्स एज फोर फेवरेट इज थ्री थ्री इज फेवरेट इज वन वन फेवरेट इज टू टू फेवरेट इज वन ऑल्सो सेवन फेवरेट इज टू नाइन फेवरेट इज टू टेन फेवरेट इज नाइन एट फेवरेट इज टू फाइव फेवरेट इज वन सो वॉट डू वी डू इन सच केस दिस इज अ हाईली कॉम्प्लिकेटेड केस एंड लेट्स ट्राई एंड सिंप्लीफाई दिस सो लेट्स ट्राई टू आइडेंटिफाई द टू साइकिल यूनिट दट इज गेटिंग फॉर्म्ड इन दिस कंप्लीट ग्राफ हेयर इट इज वी हैव वन टू प्ले साइड बाय साइड इन अ डायरेक्टेड एंड स्लैश बाई डायरेक्टेड फैशन एंड वट वट वी कैन से हेयर वी कैन से हेयर दैट सिंस वन एंड टू आर प्लेज एट द सेंट द अदर टू वेकेंसीज हैव बीन क्रिएटेड वन विद वन एंड अदर वन विद टू now more nodes can be attached over here so what all nodes are we going to attach we'll attach those nodes that are of longest length so which is the longest length starting from 1 4 and 3 so we'll let's attach 3 and 4 here 9 and 7 on the right side of longest length so we'll attach these two these three up we have 10 9 and 7 and we'll attach it to two because there was one vacancy and in the end what we are going to do we'll simply connect 10 with 4 so overall what kind of structure have we formed we have formed a circular structure wherein each neighbor has its favorite on either on its right or it or on its left four is not a favorite of 10 but since there was a vacancy created any node can be attached there so overall how do we conclude this we we are interested in identifying the length of two degree cycles where the length comes out to be 2 and we have to identify the extensions of longest length on the either sides in order to conclude now let's look at the final algorithm and it's the amalgamation of case 2 case 3 and case 1 and uh, let's walk through it the first and the foremost thing is to the need to construct the graph from the given relations of favorites then we need to identify the cycles that are present in this directed graph and we need to segregate uh, it, it into two lots one with cycles of size greater than 2 and one with cycles of size equal to 2 uh, let's uh, one possibility of the answer could be the maximum cycle size where the length is greater than 2 and the other possibility can, can come from the cycle of size 2 all of them can sit together the second case and we can brute forcefully extend the cycle to in both the directions to actually increase the reach of all the members so finally the answer would be max of single cycle uh, with size greater than 2 and sum of all cycles of length 2 with extensions remember we have to think of extensions as well also this question i am not able to solve by myself i refer to the post which i am attaching here uh, this guy rexu 70 has written a phenomenal post and i liked the way he has explained the logic i used his logic to build the uh, presentation and uh, i am uh, and apologies i am not able to explain the entire code to you guys why because this problem requires core deep knowledge of graphs dfs reversal cycle detection and much more which is beyond the scope of this video uh, for those who have good command on on graphs can look at this uh, solution and try to grasp maximum out of this for those who are new to graphs guys this is not this question is not for you if you don't have good command on graphs this will demotivate you from even trying more questions based on graph so forget this question if you are new to graphs this brings me to the end of today's session Also, I'm attaching the link of this code in the Git repo. You can refer to this. 
uh, this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye